Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do level seven of the collisions activity. So in order to start the level, I've restarted the level. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on it to start. And it says, make three ions using 26 units of energy and complete the target on your own. So here we go. We need to look at each of these atoms and figure out what's going on with them. So if we look at beryllium, we can open beryllium up. You can see the beryllium has two electrons in its outer shell. In order to have a full valent shell, this one only needs to lose two. And since it's these two are in the second energy level, a full valent shell for beryllium would be the first energy level, and all it can have in the first energy level is two. So beryllium will lose two electrons and become positive two. So beryllium is a possibility for a positive two. If we look at sodium, for example, sodium has one electron in its valent shell. It's going to be uh, this one electron that's going to be removed from the valent shell in order to have eight in the highest energy level. And since it removes one electron, it will become positive one. So that's a possibility for a positive one. If we look at sulfur, sulfur has six valence electrons in its outer shell. It's only going to need to gain two in order to have full valence. And so since it's going to gain two electrons, it will be a negative two. And then we have calcium. We take a look at calcium. Calcium has two valence electrons in its outer shell. It's going to lose those two electrons in order to have a full valence shell, which will be the next shell. And therefore, it will be positive two. And it will be a possibility for our positive two. So the first thing we need to do is we need to generate some electrons. we got to build some electrons up so that we can get our negative two charge. So we have to look at the two atoms that have a possibility of losing two electrons. And that would be beryllium and calcium. And so here, this is where we have to understand what happens to the ionization energy as the size of the atom increases. So as the size of the atom increases, the ionization energy decreases. And that's because the electrons are further away from the nucleus in calcium. So they're further away, calcium is a bigger atom. These valence electrons are further away from the nucleus. Then the electrons in beryllium, these two valence electrons in beryllium are closer to the nucleus. In beryllium, they're in the second energy level. In uh, calcium, they're in the fourth energy level. So it's going to be easier to remove the valence electrons from our calcium. We're going to lose up, use up less energy. So that's the one we need to go with. So we're going to go ahead and put this uh, beryllium back here. And we're going to go ahead and remove the electrons from our calcium. And we do that by grabbing the electron and dragging it over to the side. We've used up some energy. We grab this one. It's going to be harder to remove this one. And there we go. So now we have 20 protons, 18 electrons. More protons than electrons gives us our positive two charge. So we're going to go ahead and put that in our positive two area. Two valent, uh, positive two charge, eight valence electrons. Everything checks out. All right. Now what we're going to need to do is we're going to use those two we're going to add those two electrons to sulfur in order to make sulfur have eight valence electrons. And when it gains those two electrons, it's going to be positive or negative two, excuse me, negative two. Now, what's going to happen here is the first electron is not going to require any energy to add. As a matter of fact, energy is released. So we release two units of energy here. The second one is going to require a bit of energy to add because there's already electrons there. So it's going to kind of need a little bit of a push in order for those electrons uh, to fill up that valence shell. So we used up some energy, but it's okay. So now we've gained our two electrons. This out va outer valence shell is full. We have 16 protons. We have 18 electrons. That gives us our negative two charge. And we're going to go ahead and put that in this little pot right here. Negative two charge. Eight valence electrons. Everything checks out. Now all we need to do is get our positive one. So if we look at these two, between these two that are left over, which one of these will become positive one? Well, in order for beryllium to be uh, to have a full valence shell, it needs to lose two. So that's going to end up being positive two. So that by process of elimination, that leaves us with sodium. But if we take a look at sodium, if we get rid of this one valence electron, it's going to have eight in its valence shell, which will be this next shell. And so this sodium is going to be the atom that's going to lose the electron. So we're going to take this electron off. And now we have 11 protons, 10 electrons, one more proton than electron. It's going to be positive one. We can put that over here.
And there you go. The level is now complete.